So while we were at WIP, we were reminded of this strange contraption, which is the high-level isolation unit in London, the Royal Free Hospital in London, in England, which is used as uh, an isolation facility or a quarantine facility, mostly for hemorrhagic diseases. So this is me inside a Trexler unit, but the way it works is that the person who is either suspected of having Ebola or has it, hops inside this tent and the doctors and nurses caring for them just kind of sort of insert themselves into these suits built into the tent wall. This is me inside it uh, immediately after the Dr. Jacobs told me that they had cleaned it using an experimental decontamination procedure after the last inhabitant left. Uh, that was a Scottish nurse with Ebola. So. Um, there I am, there he is, and he, as he explains, all he has to do, and I, I quote him, is invaginate himself into the wall uh, to provide care. And so what, what's interesting about this is the UK is completely unique in doing isolation this way. And, and actually, Mike Jacobs told us, it, they get rid ridiculed for this. People laugh at them. Everywhere else in the world provides care for people with infectious diseases using PPE. And this is, uh, this is Jeff. You might not recognize him here on the left. In full PPE with our guide to quarantine who we met in Venice, who turned out to be the chief scientific officer in charge of Italy's COVID response later. He had Jeff dress up in PPE to sort of show us what this is like, it's extremely hot. It's extremely hard to put on and take off without the risk of infection. That's something that people train repeatedly and still get wrong. And you also look like an alien. Whereas in the Trexler unit, when you're invaginated into the wall, you are not as hot, you don't look like an alien, and anyone can do it. So. Um, non-trained experts can do it, and also family members can do it. So this became interesting to us, and apparently interesting to others too. We were talking to doctors who were caring for Ebola patients in the DRC in 2018, and they were telling us we have a really hard time persuading people to go into quarantine and isolation because the culture is don't be separate from your family, particularly when you're sick. That's just absolutely not the right thing to do. And so people would just resist quarantine and isolation. Well, Congolese doctors saw the Trexler unit and adapted it for use in the Congo. These are these low budget versions of the cube that have been extremely effective. And to us, that was kind of a reminder that quarantine can be redesigned and that something that is keeping you separate from your community for your protection and for their protection cannot still be designed in such a way that it keeps you connected to your community. Interestingly, and we were fascinated to see this, at the start of the COVID pandemic, this was adopted in, in the US too. So there were some prototype units being rolled out in Boston in June. Um, that's a hug suit built into the wall of, a, of one of these cubes. And what's fascinating about this is, you probably remember, there was this shortage of PPE. Well, one of these units replaces 200 full sets of PPE. Again, allows family members to visit, and everyone doesn't have to look like an alien. And it can pop up anywhere. So when the hospitals were getting overwhelmed, this was a viable sort of way to provide care outside of a ward. So really interesting for us to be imaginative and redesign quarantine as an experience.